Of all the many beautiful parts of France, there is none more beloved by travelers than that nestling along the sunny shores of the Ligurian Sea. To the world, it is known as the Riviera, but because of the coloring of the Maritime Alps and the blueness of the tranquil Mediterranean, the French call it the Côte d'Azur, the blue or azure coast. The more renowned part of the Riviera begins at Cannes, whose harbor is perhaps the roadstead for more fine yachts and pleasure craft than any other harbor in Europe. A wide sandy beach affords excellent bathing facilities, and the mildness of the Riviera climate is attested by the luxuriant growth of palms and other semi-tropical plants. There are many fashionable resorts along this coast. Across the bay from Juin les Pins, one popular with Americans, is the island of Saint Marguerite, where for 12 years the man in the iron mask was imprisoned. It was into the friendly shelter of this bay, Gulf Juin, that the immortal Napoleon sailed on his return to France from exile in Elba. And here began those famous hundred days which ended at Waterloo, changing the history of the world. Juin les Pins owes its name to its pine groves. The town of Antibes is a favorite rendezvous for artists who find constant subjects in the walls and relics of the town's former fortifications, as well as in the picturesque inhabitants. The oldest and largest Riviera resort is Nice. It is situated on the Bay of the Angels and stretching up into the foothills of the Maritime Alps dots the slopes with villas and beautiful gardens. Each year, the city attracts almost half a million visitors from all parts of the world who sojourn in and enjoy its delightful climate. The Promenade des Anglais, which borders the beach, is lined with fashionable hotels and villas and possesses one of the most magnificent seafronts of any city in the world. During the season, the wide sidewalk is thronged with vacationists and seekers after health who come to enjoy the benefits of the sunniest climate of France. Like many other resorts along the coast, Nice also boasts of a splendid old harbor for yachts. The boats of Saint-Jean Cap Ferrat float lazily below the villas and estates of the town founded by the Knights of St. John. Famed as one of the most beautiful in the world is the majestically curving coast stretching for 25 miles between Nice and Montan. The entire length of this section of the Azure coast is traversed by three magnificent roads, known as the Grand, the Middle, and the Little Corniche. The uppermost of the three, the Grand, was built by Napoleon, and passing along the crest of the range, attains at times a height of over 1,700 feet. The Little, or Petit, the lowest of the three, is often tunneled through limestone cliffs as it closely follows the sea. From the middle, or Moyenne, and the newest of the three, we look down upon Monte Carlo and the Principality of Monaco. The prominent white building is the famous oceanographic museum that houses the collection from deep sea explorations of Prince Albert I. The worldwide fame of Monte Carlo is due to its gambling facilities. The casino stands on a bluff overlooking the sea. It is approached from the hills by a splendid esplanade down which carefree travelers come with purses and light hearts. Formerly, all who entered the portals of this famed casino had to be properly attired. But today, with radically changed customs, even backless shirts and beach pajamas are permitted. Facing upon well-kept gardens and carefully graded terraces, the casino affords an unobstructed view of the sea. 
In the distance can be seen Cap Mata, a verdant peninsula where life is more quiet and tranquil than at the more populous resorts. The wind-bone trees of this peaceful retreat frame vistas of the mountains and of Monton, last of the resorts along the French Riviera. Returning to Nice over the Grand Corniche, an occasional cafe or restaurant is encountered, from which beautiful views of sea and mountain can be enjoyed. From one, the glorious vista embraces the whole of the tiny principality of Monaco. Looking backward and far below can be seen Cap Matin, and in the distance, the irregular coastline of the Ligurian Riviera. The smooth road gently ascends and descends, unfolding at every turn some new and beautiful picture. Nearly 1,600 feet above the sea is the small town of La Turbi, in early Roman days, the boundary of Italy. Situated charmingly on an isolated rock is the picturesque village of Aes, where many foreigners have purchased old houses and rebuilt them into modern residences. In the distance, Cap Ferra, with its unusual outline, appears to be floating on the waters of the quiet Mediterranean. A gentle turn near the western end of the middle, or Moyenne Corniche, suddenly reveals a wonderful panorama of Nice, probably the greatest resort in the world. The Carnival of Nice, perhaps most renowned of all carnivals, is held during the 12 days preceding Lent and draws visitors and merrymakers from all parts of the world. Of the many elaborate festivals and fates, outstanding is the procession of grotesque and fantastic figures whose huge size, originality, and amusing caricature are world famous and have been used as models for other carnivals throughout the world. confetti-strewn streets among the gay and friendly people of the South, one feels again the warmth and hospitality that has long been a charm of the Riviera, the azure coast of France. 